Hi everyone, it's a real pleasure to be uh, here once again uh, in uh, OW2Con. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank you uh, OW2 and uh, especially Mozilla for hosting this great event. Uh, today I will uh, present um, what we did uh, over this year. Uh, if you were here uh, at the um, last session uh, last year, uh, I've presented uh, DuckDuckU uh, PLM also, but uh, for a web desktop, uh, web-based desktop application. Now uh, we'll go a bit further with uh, business-oriented API and our PIS approach. Who are we? Uh, we are a small company based in Toulouse, uh, about 15 uh, co-workers. Uh, we offer services. Uh, we help industrial organi organizations to digitize their business. And we are committed to the open source. We uh, develop uh, DocDocu PLM, which I will present you in uh, this presentation. About me, I'm uh, the dev leader of this software, and I'm also a technical trainer. I give trainings uh, in France. So let's start with uh, what is DocDocuPLM. Then uh, I will present you our, our approach for uh, platform as a service. We'll see uh, the technical aspects uh, of this approach and Finally, who is, who is using our API today? DocDoc PLM is a um, quite complete platform to manage products and documentation. And it also has um, some tra tracker uh, facilities for issues, uh, orders, uh, the first section of this software is um, the product life cycle. You can manage uh, the entire entire life cycle of your products into uh, our software. You can create, manage uh, different product stru structures with variants. And finally, you can see your uh, products in into 3D uh, in your browser without any plugin. We also have a document management system which allow you to uh, manage all your documentation of your products. Uh, we have a version control system also uh, for products and documents like Git or SVN. You can add tags, attributes, create templates, models, define links between documents and products and so on. Organize, browse, share and such. It's quite a complete platform. And today we have uh, three client software. Uh, the first, the first one is the web application, uh, which is available uh, on the internet. And we have a command line, command line interface, uh, and also a web-based desktop application, which intend to synchronize your files on your file system with the remote server. And we also have uh, social um, uh, social features like real-time uh, audio and video communication and chat. So uh, this is DocDocu PLM. Today, uh, this year, sorry, um, we we need uh, on API. Why? Uh, because of, uh, for many reasons. The first reason is uh, that today the web is evolving very quick and if you want to compete, you have to innovate faster. Faster and faster to reduce the time to market. So why did we need an API or more exactly why do we need an API today is uh, to innovate faster. We can now develop new uh, graphical user interfaces 
but also uh, develop new APIs above this API. Why? Um, to resolve specific domain industry needs. So bringing this API makes us ready to platform as a service. With this new API, uh, you can use it to build new API to be more business specific and to resolve very specific use case. So uh, for each use case, we can develop a, uh, a new solution based on our platform. The industry, uh, in, in this industry, you will find many sectors, so like automobile, aviation, agriculture, and so on, and also many different domains into these uh, specific sectors. So you will uh, find maintenance, uh, department, human resources, consulting, and so on. All of um, domains and sectors does not have the, the same needs, the, the same use cases to, to resolve. So uh, with our API, API, sorry, we try to uh, address every needs uh, industry may have. So yes, it benefits uh, for every actor. We innovate faster. We don't have to rewrite what has been already written. And we, uh, the developer now can focus on the use cases and uh, resolve the needs. Um, today, we, does, uh, we do not host your, your code. You cannot push your code to our platform, but uh, this will be a main key on our next roadmap. Today, we have, uh, this year, we have prepared the API. And it will is deployment at scale for you. You won't have to worry about the infra infrastructure. Don't have to worry, worry about the processors, the RAM, and so on. Uh, it's a benefit uh, for every actor. Now, uh, it's something to think when you want to build a new app. Uh, shall I uh, rent my own server? Will I pay for uh, developers to build my application? Or will I reuse these bricks? So you will also save money. And um, you'll get some support uh, because uh, the more this API is used, uh, the more the problems are well known and also the communi community uh, can be very helpful. About the technical aspects, um, until uh, this year, we um, we have to we had to maintain uh, both end, uh, two endpoints, uh, two communication protocols uh, that are SOAP and REST, and uh, it's uh, a pain to maintain both. Not the same endpoints, not the same code base. We had a lot of headache uh, with that thing. So now we uh, completely focus on the REST layer uh, and we make it good. Our server is a um, Java-based application and we use uh, specific annotations which are not standard yet. Uh, uh, they are developed by Swagger. Swagger is uh, a collaborative project under the Linux Foundation. And it intends to deliver a, spec um, a specification uh, for REST APIs, which are human readable and uh, also by computers. 
So in our code base, we will find uh, many annotations around uh, our REST layer um, as a um, arrow based a API, API operation, and API para. Um, there are other uh, annotations, but these three are uh, the main interesting. What does it bring? And allow it allow us to parse them with another Java-based uh, program and generate a JSON file or YAML file which describes all services. Once uh, the um, JSON file I have been produced, we are now able to generate uh, SDK to uh, many languages. We, today we have two SDK, SDK, one in Java and the other in JavaScript. And to generate it, we use uh, Swagger Code Gen, which is under the Apache license and uh, available on GitHub. It generates our Java API uh, from this de description and it's packaged as a jar. So you can bring it uh, in, you can integra integrate it sorry, in your existing application or directly use uh, the Mavenized version. It will be published under a W2 uh, codebase. The JavaScript SDK also uses a module from Swagger, which is Swagger Client. It's simply a Node.js module, which, uh, which reads the JSON description and generates a JavaScript SDK. It can run in a browser, so you can directly integrate it in an existing web app. And you can also use it simply as a Node.js module in a server application. If you don't like Java or JavaScript or don't want to use it, there's many other languages that we can support and bring our API, like Swift, Dart, Scala, and so on. So the most uh, important thing is who is using it today? We do. We uh, use our API in uh, our products. Uh, DPLM is a web-based desktop application uh, which is mostly designed for 3D files des uh, designers but also fits for simple file management. Basically, it synchronizes uh, your file system with the server. Like SVN or Git, uh, you see what is modified, uh, what is out of date, uh, and so on. Uh, before uh, this year, um, DPLM was relying on uh, the command line, command line interface to consume our services. Now it uses the uh, JavaScript SDK. It's much faster, more reliable, more flexible. Uh, here's a screenshot of uh, the application. It's a web, um, desktop application, but behind uh, there's JavaScript, AngularJS. So the, the designer can synchronize his files directly in one click. The, sorry, the second uh, product who is using the DPLM, uh, the JavaScript SDK now is our command line interface. Uh, like Git or SVN, you can do uh, DPLM, checkout, check-in, push, pull uh, from your command line. So it's not for every, every user. 
And the third um, application who is using our API is Farmstar. It's a Java and web application, and it intends to help the agricultural industry with the reporting system, uh, modulation, and advice for farmers, which can see uh, directly uh, what kind of seeds they have to, to put in the field. Uh, I'm giving a stupid example, but I don't know very well their uh, vocabulary. Um, and you have also different views in this application because there are different domains. Uh, farmers are using it, using using it, sorry, but also technicians and also distributors in this industry. So uh, it's a real and concrete example of uh, the domain-specific and business-oriented API. And why not maybe you tomorrow? Uh, if you need uh, to develop an application which uh, needs document management system or manufacturing tracking facilities and social and notification features, you can uh, already use uh, our API. The next release is coming very soon, so stay tuned and don't hesitate to fork us on GitHub and submit pull requests.